Hello. Hi, friendos. Hi. And goodbye. Have a good day. That was Thanks a good for episode. watching the D-pad. Yeah. Best episode ever. Yes. We'll this be is back next time. this is uh, Kirby's Triple Deluxe. That's the actual name of the game. I said it for real this Kirby time. Kirby Triple Deluxe. I'm Rick. <laughs> wow. I'm Jeff. I'm Ben. And that's the leader, Bandana Waddle D. Thank you. He threw cherries at me. Thank you for cherries. I like two cherries. Are we straight up doing like boss battle style level? Like we run in and then it's like, all right, hey, do the. Oh, I get a needle. We have. I forget what this guy is. I don't want needle though. I know that. He's, it's plant. Oop. Is Seed. he bomb? Oh, he's leaf. Leaf. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with cutter actually. I feel like Cutter is one that I'm just more comfortable with generally. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen Leaf uh Ooh, oh, there's two options. Right. I say left. Jeff? Um Left. Alright, left it is. Just flip the coin. <laughs> <laughs> Into your left hand, you're like, well, land in my left hand. Yes. <laughs> I put my hands out and whichever hand I looked at first was the one I went with. I bet it didn't matter which one you went to. Get Rack Flame, Galboros. Oop. Ah. Oh. There goes no, the perfect no, Yeah, run no Rick. perfect. God damn it. Reset. We're going to start over a platinum. Fil filled the no hit. Well, I'm going to do the thing where I eat these guys each time just because I have no means of knowing if. Well, yeah, that's Kirby's SOP. Oh, actually, you know what? So let me practice this real quick because it's. I don't know if I can do that against a wall, though. Not really. All right. Uh. Oh. Whoa! A little skip there. Oh, that works. Yay! All right. Treasure. Well, that was worth. That was one. Oh, I hope uh, Wright doesn't also have one of those. There's a, there's a good oh, chance. Man. Or I the bet level. they do. Like, all right, now you got to pick which which direction each time. Ugh. Yep. Ah, uh, fudge. Ow! Ow. Well, that's gonna be whip, I think. Yeah. You don't want circus whip or spark. Actually, you know what? Spark isn't bad. The land of useless <coughs> powers. Let's do that. Let's head to this. Is a jamming song. I'm thinking right this time. Okay. Any disagreements? No, yes. you got. You got. I go. disagree. <laughs> All the best stuff's gonna be on the left. It could be. It could be literally like a hard and easy. I don't know. It's pretty good still. It might not matter, also. It may not matter, yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't put it past it to just not matter at all. Get back here. Mr. Not like that. Mr. Frosty, Oop. show me that ass. He loves that ass. Mm -hmm. Oop. Now okay. you did. I'm going to eat you, you living being. <laughs> You're going to feel the stomach of Kirby. Eat what you kill. Come on. It was a trap all along. Yay. Yay. I bet it doesn't matter. It may not matter at all. I bet it's the same left or right. All They're just right. trying to get you to stress over something. <laughs> In this completely stressless we got spear. game. We got bomb. Well, not completely stressless, but you know what I mean. I mean, fighter. I super hope that's the case because I would really like to not mm. have to come in here and alternate yeah, the paths yeah. that we just did. And try to remember Let's which do. path we did now that we're switching it up. It's like my, my argument was go left every time because go right every time the second time. But we went left, right. I'm going to go left. Yeah. It's going to alternate. I remember if we do have to come back to start on the right, but we already have two out of four, so I think we... I think oh, and yeah. there's a treasury chest right over there. Oop. Can I do the... <clears throat> is fighting type good against Wait, what? rock? <laughs> uh, yes, actually. <laughs> yeah. But not ground? Not ground. I'm there learning, you guys. I think rock and ground should never have been two separate types. I think they could have done them differently. Like either... I don't know. It's tricky because like, there's definitely conceptual differences between like earth. Like if they did earth... If they merged rock and... If they merged... Uh, grass and ground as like earth and it had not just like literal plants but also well so that's that's my biggest uh, like hang up is that like oh, leave the my, mineral you stuff to be rock you know i think rock just doesn't need to exist actually yeah i mean so the, the problem with me is that rock and ground to me are very similar in concept yeah yep. and then on top of that ground and like uh uh plant 
Yeah. What the fuck is it called? Yeah. Uh, uh, grass. Grass. grass but thank you. Yes. Grass type and ground type are kind of the same. Like all plants are I in see the ground. Much, I see much more of a distinction between ground and grass than ground and rock. I think well, the problem agreed, is, agreed. What we really need is a rock type and an earth type, and the rock type is like literally what it sounds like: rock, you know, mineral stuff, and then earth is what is all the gr all the grass plant type matter. stuff. But also like yeah, plant matter, but also literal earth, like ground and things, uh -huh. um, like stuff that stuff that is more directly dealing with plant life as opposed to rock that deals more with non-living matter. Yeah, I mean, all the rock Pokemon are just literally made out of rocks. Yeah. yeah. But, the, like, I I just, like, just make all the rock Pokemon ground-type instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, that I, would... I, like, I, <laughs> that would not be out of the realm at yeah. all. Someone in the comments tell me what would, like, how, how that would break the... I, I'm sure that that would cause problems... With um, the resistance triangles yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that. I mean, you know. Well, there's also don't, like. Don't ignore the fact that if it just started with there not being such a thing as a rock type from all the way back to Gen 1, like, the games would have evolved differently well, in I terms of what Pokemon got what. Well, yeah. for example, but stuff like ground and how it interacts with flying and electric. Like, ground being literally, like, ground based mm -hmm. as a thing. Yep. I, I still don't as see it to as a rock. Like, where well, yeah, there are there are actual differences in typing between ground and rock, but I don't think that's such a big deal that it would be an issue. You know, like maybe you switch up a couple of type matchups for the sake of it, but like it wouldn't have broken the whole system. Uh, yeah, and I, I think it would just make more sense. Like ground and rock are conceptually just too close for me. Yeah, for it to you know necessitate two separate types, like you have like water and fire, and then it's like earth, uh, uh, ground and rock. It's like we <laughs> will. <laughs> those those are two different comparisons to make between like mm. elemental types. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of them are like real obvious elements, like yeah. fire, water, like you know, electric. Kirby. You'd lose out on fighting be bang, bang, being good right. against rock. You'd lose out on Bubble. rock being good against flying. Well, I think I think uh, it seems like the main difference comes down to base like currently is that all right, rock types are literal stone. They can they they can be managed in whatever way, whereas the ground types are something that's inextricably like inextricably linked to the ground. Well, like, right, like but if if Onyx was ground type, I'd be like, yep, that makes that sense. makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the thick I mean that's why it's both. It's a rock monster that is a snake, so it's along like it digs burrows with the ground. But Onyx is just rock, isn't he? No, nope. it's both. Well, what's I don't know. What's a Pokemon that's just rock? Uh, rock and Rolla in his line. Geodude, uh, Geodude, uh, Geodude uh, is rock and ground. <laughs> well, so that's so that has more in those. That one has <laughs> Onyx. I think, like the, I think, yeah. those are just as rocky. I think Geodude is a bit of a mistake from Gen One, and I think that Rock and Rolla was them kind of course correcting on that and doing like, all right, here's what we should have done with Geodude, just because, like. It's hard to gauge things off how, of how uh, Gen 1 handled them, because there were some major, major well, yeah. mistakes I mean, that were made. Gen, attempt, Gen 1 yeah. is like first edition D&D. Like, everything was kind of fucky. It's first edi edition <laughs> magic. It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like nobody will ever need a creature more powerful than 4-4. Oh, and God, then, yeah. like, two years later, they were like, oh, man, we were so wrong. Yeah, a vanilla 4-4 creature for 6? That's so good. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> holy crap. Um, oh! Well, but, yeah, I, I just, I, I just oh, don't... Oh, damn it. Balls. Uh... How? Okay. Like from a balance perspective and from a concept perspective, I don't see the need for rock type. Yeah, it's gonna destroy him. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was like. I was like, is there gonna be something? Hidden I gotta got look up the type matchup and see if I'm missing something huge. But. Oh, our boat. Oh. Boat is dead. Poor boat. All right, best friend boat. is. Yeah, but what would break <laughs> this though? New best friend is snake box. Oh, I love snake box. <laughs> snake box. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think I like this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I agree that there's something... It's probably the smallest difference between any two types is... Yeah. Ground and rock. Ground and rock. Ooh. Like, I think there is a difference, but I think it's subtle, and it's not very well, like... I, I mean, yes, there is technically a difference, but I think it's so subtle that it doesn't oh, okay, make for the need. Okay. Yeah. You know? Oh, no, why? 
Oh, Spear, stick with us. So, like, the biggest differences are, um, like, ground doesn't affect flying, but rock is super effective against flying. Yeah. yeah. But I would just change that to be... I mean, you could have just ground... Like, you don't need rock type. Um... It's also electric as a thing. Ground, yeah. Um, ground doesn't affect flying and whatever. Like, flying is already weak to electric and ice. Maybe add another weakness to something. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I, I feel like... Ground is good against poison. I Like, Big why? Fish. I don't know. You don't really... I feel whatever. like... Uh, ground is good against rock, but there wouldn't be a rock type. Rock is good against bug for some reason. Bug is already weak to a bunch of things. Yeah. There's a part of me that you feels know, like they're like, missing out on doing more interesting things with some of these Pokemon and their typings with like, okay, so rock and electric don't really do yeah, anything in particular, but what about a Pokemon that's like inspired by quartz? So if it's hit with an electric attack, it's got, you know, whatever abilities are good for like absorbing electric attacks or like its attack goes up or something mm -hmm. or... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you like you, you, little quirks yeah, you that could, could be. you could supplement the rock type with abilities, like uh, or the ground type with abilities that make it more rock like. Well, that gets into my whole thing about like I feel like flying type may have been a mistake, and it should have been a flying state instead, like oh. a flight state handling stuff like being immune to ground or being weak to electricity or something. Would have been a slightly better use of that than its own type, just because there are. Yeah, but there's a lot of just. Bird Pokemon, yeah. sure. all the way back to the beginning. But so that's the thing birds. is, like, like there's a lot of flightless otherwise. birds that have flying type, which doesn't make sense. Like Doduo, not only has, not <laughs> only is flying type, it can learn fly. Yeah, but it so can Dodrio. It doesn't fly. <laughs> yeah, it's got two legs, no wings. It so how is it super flying? High. Yeah, that is odd for sure. So like, um, I don't know. I feel like, and again, that's a Gen One thing. So but maybe like, that's just an issue of like Gen One made mistakes. Yeah. Well, like, what would every Pidgey be? Just normal. Normal, or if they had a bird type, and it didn't necessarily go one to one with flying, like as a state. But like, yeah, it'd just be a normal type at that point, which is fine. It's just a bird. It's not an electric bird. It's not a yeah grass like, bird. Like Radita doesn't need to be a specific type. It's just a fucking animal. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a normal ass animal. Yeah. That's the oh, thing. Like race. if it had okay, just started being that from the very beginning, none of us would think any have a second thought about it. Be yeah. like, oh yeah, it's just a bird. Yeah. But now mm. that we like have seen flying type as a type, yeah. well, it's like, well, oh, what's, what's the Hold bird on. gonna be? Not flying? Like oh, I just lost it entirely. I'll well, start over. You almost did. Get that donut. Wait, I hit him though. Can I go to like he? Got hit by a thing. Yeah, he's he got murked. So. so can I just go collect that? Oh, <laughs> like maybe. Well, oh he, no, he's got to get over here. Oh, uh, Jesus, what? this is gonna be rough. I bet that last bomb activates makes a, a platform. Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna be interesting. So I have to decide when to allow or not allow him to cross so that he doesn't get slammed by those things. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think that. You could replace ground with the concept of gravity. Like, okay. weight, gravity, force, something like that. Because, like, I've been thinking about our Hippodon, Thick Cheryl. Oh, I break it with that. Oh. She's not really, like, ground-oriented. Like, first of all, hippos hang out in mud and water. They don't dig under the surface of the earth. <laughs> like, Ooh, that, was, that's that was close. Not a thing, but... There we go. Pachoo! Can I not? You're sp yeah, okay, there oh, you go. I was confused. <laughs> you can't be I also realized that's just for a basic ass keychain. Which is weird. That was a lot of work for not a lot of reward. Yeah, surprising uh, more com surprisingly more complex than we thought. Yeah. Oh, we got another <laughs> section. Oh, God. All right, so that was our warm up then. Oh. That's just the tutorial level. Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, the concept of like a gravity Pokemon, something that deals with heaviness or forces or like, you know, mass um, attraction kind of thing. Yeah. They've kind of done that with certain attacks. Yes. Eek. That right. deals sp and Oh or, shit, really? Or like just general abilities and stuff that uh, Ooh, specifically close. have to do with Pokemon weights. Uh oh, I missed you missed one. How how am I supposed to get that? Wow, oh. okay, that's a mm -hmm. just super bit of a jump reach. It. Is there? Oh, is, there's another door a entirely door. over there. Ah, oh, lame. 
Yeah, and I mean, like, I know that the, the concept kind of exists already with, like, I think Body Slam, maybe Double Edge, or something like that. Some of those moves have, like, however heavy you are. Well, there's, yeah. there's, like, Stomp? Oh, no, that's for if you're minimized. There's, like, Grass Knot and, um... Uh, sp oh, God, what's it called? Gyro Ball. That's it, yeah. That's, like, if the Pokemon weighs more, you, like, knock them over and they take more damage. Yeah. Right. Um... I don't know. It's it's just it's just a thought, but like yeah. it would make more sense for Thick Cheryl to be gravity type than to be. Yeah, uh, I mean, ground. Hippodon is just ground type because they decided to make a What's sandstorm like? hippo. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a hippo in the desert. It's uh, kind of if there. they just wanted a regular hippo, it could just be normal, and get, you know, some kind of I I weight this style guy. move. You know, right? You know. Oh wait, he opened it. Yeah, they can open doors too. Oh, all right. All right. What I'm getting at here is I love Thick Cheryl. <laughs> Thick Cheryl's great. I like Thick Cheryl. I feel like she's the worst fit for our team right now, though. Yeah, she's the ground or Pokemon that we need, not that we deserve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess we just want the ground type. But I think that's more. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's just like a. Oh. There we go. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh, you were right at the end, too. That sucks. It was the last trick. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's almost just like we, we kind of don't have a well-structured team and, like, ground happened to be the one Well, that's kind of what happens yeah. when it's you're like, going well, with Pokemon like, you like as opposed to, like, structure. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 And, like, it's it hasn't really been a problem, you know? Don't like, know. we didn't have... We, didn't, we were anticipating a completely different type of Pokemon for this gym. And it's like, oh, we have a water Pokemon, so yeah. we're fine. That was the funny thing, is that we're like, ice gym time, and we rolled up, and it was ground type, and we're like, what? It was rock type. Or, or rock type, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like, what the fuck? Like, that's not what was expected. Blurp. And yeah, if we was were, there another one? If we oh, were damn. Nuzlocking it, and it was a game that had been out for a while, and we knew of the gym order, like, you know, very naturally, then obviously we could have figured out, like... Oop. What? Looked like that should have gone through. Come on back now, guy. Ah, oh, almost. <laughs> oh, there no. There's only... They've, they've yet to do one with three. It's always been two. Yeah. The difficulty's been going up slowly, but I don't know how much harder they'll get with them. Yeah. Maybe multiple things to have to... Maybe. To, to tilt and tumble. <laughs> <laughs> Zima's just running through to make sure that but we... But she's, like, doing the goofiest little scoot. Yeah, yep. she's sneaky she scooted. Trots. She quick trots. Into the room. She's, like, she, yeah, she's, like, sneaking around like a goobus. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Oh, I didn't see that in time. Oh, God. We're doing uh, this shit. Seems fine. Yeah, but that's clearly them going, like, get ready, because you're going to be doing a lot of this. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah I guess... What the hell are you supposed to do there? <laughs> Ow, my feet. Well, you have to pick okay. up this key, but then also there's a billion enemies in the way. Oh, I thought that was lava. Oh, God. No, don't, don't, don't. Oh, my God. Can you not shoot in front of you? I don't know. Didn't seem like it. Huh. The jumping arrow attack might not be just a horizontal attack. I think it might be only be down and diagonal. Ugh. That's what it seems like, yeah. Oh, it's Spin Jesus. Senior and Spin Junior. Sure. Gordons. Oh, God. Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> it, it's closing to you quickly to, to be nearby. Yeah, yeah. But then it slowed down a little bit. I also don't like the Archer ability, like, at all. So, Oh, we're doing this again. This thing. Eee. <laughs> The game <laughs> concept that could have been a whole Mario game. Ow! Oh, Ugh. fudge. Yeah, thankfully I was still invulnerable from previous stuff. Oh, that's why you didn't take damage. I was like, wait, yeah. is that not actually threatening at all? A fake one there. Oh! Somebody turned the machine on high. Oh, so he's still, still, still got to run all the way to the side. Oop. Mm. Okay. Stars. Oh, God. There's something up there. Stars. 
Stars. Ow. Oh, no. Well, that's mean. Fuck. <laughs> Owned. Okay, game. Oh, well, okay. That's fine. Went back approximately 10 seconds. It's 10 very long seconds. 10 megaseconds. That's 10 very short megaseconds. 10, ten beefy seconds. 10 thirds. Of what? Hey, second. You get seconds oh. and you get thirds. Okay, this is good. I'm just like, uh, I can go for seconds. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes I Oh, yeah, there's a coffee for here thirds. for you, Ben, if you want it. I'm gonna need to get something to eat soon, though. I'm gonna take it because they put it in front of me. Ninji! <laughs> Go. Triangle jumping it. Ooh, go down a little added bit, complexity. I, uh, now you have to float through the holes. Guess so. It's probably enough time to get to another. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> Fuck you in particular. Ninja. Oh boy. Ugh. <laughs> mm. God damn. All right. Cave beef. Delicious. Mm the beefiest. They were doing an experiment with beef to see if life would spontaneously begin by putting meat in a dark place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading about that. That was one of like, the old... You know, like a... Back in the day where we didn't understand flies. Yeah, we didn't really get like... Well, I think it was uh, like mold spores and stuff. They yeah. didn't really understand. Mold bacteria they, like, put, and things like, like that. Uh, like old meat in a clo in like a dark closet. Grand Willy DX, and, uh, you know, mold or something started growing on. He's it. got lights yep. for us. And they're like, "Oh, life will just like be like start out of nowhere as long as you give it the proper materials. Like it, it has to eat the meat, so that's how it starts." Yes, but it just comes out of nothingness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably like, uh, "God touched the meat, and then life started on the meat or something." I don't yep. know. <laughs> I remember reading something a long time ago about, like... I love Belle. Let's look like... Belle is adorable. It's super cute. <laughs> I remember reading something about, like, <clears throat> um, how worms, like... Oh, shit. ...being on the ground after, uh... There we go. After a rainstorm. They thought for a while, like, ah, you know, the rain spontaneously generates the worms when oh. the rain falls. <laughs> it's worm rain. It grows and they're them. like The worms just kind of come out of nowhere because of the like, you it's know. it's such a basic form of life. The life power of water or yeah. something. But yeah. then eventually somebody was like, yo, I actually hey, watch the dumb. worms and they just come out the ground. Yeah. yeah. If you just look at it. <laughs> yeah. With your eyeballs. Yeah, I think that was one of the oh, earliest cases where people were like, spontaneous generation is all around us. Yeah, yeah. Like, that ain't true. Look, worms come out of the ground. Or I mean, worms are generated when it rains. <laughs> Get more star points. If you mix water and earth, it creates worm. <laughs> Where's worm type? Come on. Well, it would just be a ground water type, and it would be a worm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yin yarn. Hey, that's actually oh, pretty neat. rad. I think that I... was round about the time they were doing, like, the primordial earth experiments as well. Mm. Or they'd put a bunch of methane and some like carbon boop, boop, and a boop, bunch boop, of boop, like boop, boop, boop. basic building block junks inside of a glass sealed like terrarium Jar, thing. Yeah. And then shake it occasionally and zap it with electricity. <laughs> See what happens. And yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. They f didn't they wind up being like, oh hey, there's actually early like the, chemical the chains forming. Base building blocks of organic molecules started to form just through the natural progression yep. of electricity and, and agitation. Yep. So like, Turns out electricity tearing apart, you know, atoms and stuff does that. Yeah, it's like, oh, it hey. Is, it was not worms spontaneously generating, but they were like, there's something here. There's something. Well, why don't we come back next time and we can learn what else can spontaneously generate. Science! Science!